with a little ode to Coach Hoffman, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need this. We've, we've lost three outfielders to injuries, but we haven't lost any cattle farming yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it was 60 degrees. It was fine on Friday. We were concerned about it this weekend going in weather-wise, but it was fine. We won 12-1 to the first game and banged around a right-handed pitcher throwing 91. And 30 minutes later, a left-handed pitcher throwing 79 to 81, we did nothing with. And if you've ever picked up a bat and tried to adjust, uh, no excuse, we didn't do it. The guy did a great job. He, was, he looked like Randy Johnson minus 20 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. He's six foot nine. He was throwing a little bit downhill, but we didn't adjust. We needed some of those 24 hits to right field, and we didn't get it done there. And uh, Yesterday, it was a little chilly. Uh, conditions were poor. Conditions were tough. And as I, I told the players after the game, the conditions were tough, but Central Michigan was tougher than you were today. Uh, you know, they must have been throwing a dry ball around when they had to field it, and we were throwing a wet one because they didn't have any problems with the weather, and we had some problems with the weather. Uh, it wasn't something that was discussed or complained about. We just didn't make plays when we needed to make them. We gave them extra outs and gave them extra runs and uh, mounted a little bit of a comeback later, but fell short. Uh, our bullpen, I think the first probably four weeks had been perfect. And you knew that wasn't gonna continue, it hasn't <coughs> continued. Uh, Trey Turner, who's been extremely effective, was shut down all weekend. Saw the doctor this morning, we'll get an MRI tomorrow morning and he's indefinitely out at this point, so we're just hoping for the best there. But he was, his numbers are incredible. He's throwing 92 to 96 miles an hour, and, and no one's hitting him. And he's been good. Brian Young's not 100%, and Fromson's getting a lot of work, and he's probably not 100%. So uh, we've got to get some leads where we can rest those guys. Jake Lochner and uh, Alex Moore from Mountain Grove has come in and given us some decent innings, and I think you'll see those two guys get the ball a little bit more. Individually, uh, Jordan Knudsen, again, was good on Friday. He's, we've had six weekends, and he's given us six quality starts, so that's been a staple, uh, and that's really a good feeling going into the league, which we start this weekend, and we've got a Friday night guy that's going to compete with the others in the league. Offensively, Jake Berger uh, had eight hits on the weekend, none left the park. But I don't think I'd want to be playing short and third when he's hitting. I mean, when I'm coaching in third base, I'm moving back 50 feet. I'm serious. It's the most, it's the hardest I've ever seen a ball come off the bat of one of our players in 35 years, and it's scary. I mean, I don't want to be that third baseman. I mean, you may be checking whether you have kids. Uh, it's, it, it's coming off there pretty hard. He didn't get any in the air though. But I mean, it, he's. He's done one. He's hit 396 with nine home runs and 25 RBIs. Uh, that's a pretty good start. Now, Justin Paulson has gotten a lot of key hits, and you know he's left some runners on in key situations as well. But his quality of bats are probably the best we have. Uh, Steinmetz has continued to shine, doing a good job in center and getting on base. Alex Jefferson, the same. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine in our, order, in our order hasn't produced a lot, and part of that is the three outfielders that are out. Landon Ruff stepped in this weekend, got some key hits, competed well. He's always been a good defender, always been a good base runner, but uh, showed us he can help us a little bit offensively, and as we go forward, he may get more opportunities. We have Oral Roberts tonight, and I worried the whole trip back until we got here at 2 a.m. whether the tarp was on, and when I went over there this morning, it was not on. Mm -hmm. But we think we're gonna play. Uh, we got an optimistic view from our groundskeeper that we're gonna to play tomorrow, so that'll be nice. And we start the Valley this weekend. We have Bradley here Friday night. We'll piggyback the Cardinal-Cardinal game, which is slated to, I believe, start at five, which means we're supposed to start at eight. We'll probably start at 9.30, uh, whatever it takes. It's that or playing at noon, and we've got a lot better chance of getting a captive audience after their game, because people could stay for free and watch ours, so that could be nice for us. Uh, Bradley's, as I was telling Jason, they're kind of middle of the pack. Their record's not real impressive. They always have at least one six foot five or over left-handed pitcher that gives you fit. So we look forward to that. But uh, it's nice to get the league started. 
the following weekend we have Dallas Baptist at home, and then in our bye weekend we go to Albuquerque and play New Mexico, who's had a very good start to their season. We have nine games in a row at home, which is a nice thing if you play well. <clears throat> You've got to play well regardless of where you're at. It really doesn't matter. And you know we've shown our warts. We've got some, and we've got to get better in those areas. And we've got a really challenging part of our schedule coming up the next month. So thank you. Thank you.